Hi everyone, thank you again to all my subscribers. I uh, hope everyone's doing well also. Um, I promised I'd do some stories about some of my street fights. Um, I've been thinking about it. I didn't really know how to approach it because I didn't want to. I didn't want to glamorise fighting and um, sort of go on about street fights that I've done and things like that. But it was a big part of my life, and uh, I was known as a street fighter well before I was a boxer. Uh, this was a fight in my early twenties that I had, and it ended up causing a lot more trouble than than the four fellas actually anticipated. Um, so this was when I walked into a pub on a Sunday afternoon for a bit of lunch, uh, me and a girl, and um, as we sat down for, for Sunday dinner, like two in the afternoon, four of the local local blokes, thought they were the local hard men, came over and just attacked me for no reason at all. Uh, they pulled me off the chair and uh, pulled me into some children that were on the table behind and tried to keep me on the floor. I managed to get off the floor and as I stood up, one was trying to hang on my back and I've just chucked him off. And then um, the one in the front, there was, there was two round the sides, one in the back and one in the front. I've now got up and they've looked shocked and I think they lost their bottle a bit, realising that I got off the floor. As I'm about to, to steam into them, a woman came over. That I, re I knew there was kids in that in the place. And um, a woman ran over and said, there's kids, there's kids, please, please, please. So I, just, I stopped and walked out of the pub, obviously fuming. So I've gone back home, um, nearly drove back down to find them again, but I left it. Um, as luck would have it, I bumped into one of them the following day, the very next day in, in the local shop. And I saw him. He was the main ringleader. It was two brothers and two other blokes who'd started on me. And I bumped into one of the brothers the following day in the shop. I gave him a couple of slaps around the shop. And the women that run the shop, they were, they're my friends from when I was a kid. They were saying, Matt, Matt, calm down, have some polos and... They tried to calm me down with some polo, so I left it. I left the shop and I left it, and I walked up and tried to um, to get away from him because I, I didn't want to hurt him in the shop and all this. And the next thing, he's walked up the thing, saw me, put his milk down like he basically wants to fight. So I've just walked straight up to him, grabbed him by the head, and just chucked him on the floor, and he was knocked out. He was knocked out in a couple of seconds. Now, like I said at the beginning, I'm not condoning violence. I'm not glamorising it. Um, this was me retaliating for an attack on me by four men um, and I think they totally deserved it down and as far as I was concerned there was three more to go um, now I tracked down the, the address of the other brother I turned up at his house knocked on his door and he was very very apologetic because by this time they found out who I was and, and they'd done their research and a bit of homework and they really changed their tune from the night so um, the brother knocked on the door and the brother was, he was worried. So I'm not a bully and I see someone's worried, apologetic, and I sort of let him off a bit. I did. So now I was on the warpath and I'm trying to track these, these lot down. They've, they've done their homework, found out who I was. They've gone to Norman Buckland to try and see if he can stop it. They've approached Norman and Norman's just said to them, if you've upset Matt, then you must have done something wrong. He, he wouldn't have started on you. If you've done something to him and he's looking for you, you must have caused it. And I can't help you. I've gone to Norman for help. Typical cowards, typical bullies, troublemakers. Cause trouble, find out someone can have a fight, and then they, then they bottle it afterwards when I come looking for them. And to make it worse, I got a phone call from a mate of mine who said he found, he'd got one of them, he found one of them in a the pub. I drove out of this pub... Bearing in mind, when they attacked me, there was women and kids all over the pub. I've driven down to this pub to get the bloke. I've walked in and he was sitting there with his son. So I, I left it and I said to him, you're lucky I've got morals and I'm not like you lot, causing trouble in front of women and kids. I said, I won't do that. I said, so I'll, I'll catch up with you another time. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that in front of his son. I wouldn't do it in front of any kids. I wouldn't want to scare them and stuff like that. It's just the way I, I, I am and I've got that sort of uh, outlook on stuff. Um... But anyway, I did track it. I got him eventually. I bumped into him in a nightclub once and um, just gave him a little smack. Nothing major, just a little smack. That was it. It all cleared up. The last one, the one who I didn't get, I think he moved out of Milton Keynes eventually and um, went back to Ellsbury. But um, yeah, I thought I'd share that little story about how Norman Buckland got asked to, to try and calm me down when I got attacked. But yeah, thank you for the support again. Thanks to all my subscribers. All the best.